Hi. Welcome to it. This is UJ Student News, and we look at the fresh, hip, and happening stories in and around campus. And I'm your host, rather the captain of the show. But before we move on, we'd love to hear from you guys, and you can interact with us at info at intellilab.tv and hit us up. Coming up in today's show, we look at the beloved bookstore, Juta, where they cater to the academic needs of the students, and also look at the Joburg Crazy Rides. Stay tuned, and this is VJ Student News. Now, earlier on, we spoke about our beloved bookstore, Juta. If you're a student and you don't know where they're situated, you must be living under the rock. Now, these guys are situated on the first floor at the Student Centre, Kingsway, Auckland Park campus. Now, these guys will finance you with some of your books if you're struggling, and they will cater to every single book need that you will have. Watch and learn. Hi, my name is Streba McRae. I work at Juta Bulk Bookshop at the University of Johannesburg on the Kingsway campus. We're situated in the student center on the first floor. We cater for all the student needs, textbooks and stationery, all the requirements that the students need on the university. Let's assume that the students need a loan because it's expensive to finance their books. You know, provided people obviously say, look, we're stuck. This is our situation, especially in today where times are tough. Students find it hard to come by loans and we're making it affordable. So anyone who's really in a position using that account can get by, get the books they need and have time enough to pay the books. The company has been in existence for over 150 years. And with all this experience and during the times that we've served customers and stuff. Our whole focus has always been on education and the importance of education that we're able to assist them with their main function which is acquiring their books and assisting them in being able to attain a university education. We've got things organized, we've got them under control. Please feel free come in and come and see us. Basically we want to help the students. Now let's shift gears a bit from books to taxi rides. Now something that affects us all, whether you have a car or you're walking, this is how you get to town. Zoop! And this is how you get to CBD. Hey, when I EP change up, and that is some of the things that the taxi drivers say in order to get their change back. Now Gladys took us to the taxi scene downtown Joburg. I'm leaving the house now and this is what time it is. It is exactly 0623. So right now we're going to walk to the place where I'm going to get my first taxi and then after that when I get off I'm going to do a little time check with you once again. Stick around. Got some bad news. We're stuck now uh, because I don't know the tire burst or something. But this is not the first time this happens. It usually happens all the time. The tire just burst so we are waiting. For people who are going to work and people who are going to school, it's already too late for them because this is what time it is now. Already late as it is. Stick around and we'll see how this turns out. The minibus industry is the one that most people turn to because not only is it the most available mode of transport, but it is also the most affordable. Guys, I uh, just got off the taxi. It's time to do a quick time check. Uh, let's see what time it is. This is what time it is now. So now I'm going to go get into my next taxi, going to Auckland Park. The biggest challenge for the Department of Transport in South Africa is the restructuring of the public transportation system. I have finally reached my destination, UJ Kingsway campus, and I'm 32 minutes later than the time I was supposed to be here, which is uh, 8 o'clock. And I can't help but wonder if uh, the people who use buses, trains, bicycles and cars also go through the same thing I go through almost every single morning. Well, make sure you stick around to UJ Student News to find out about other modes of transport. And that's it from Captain Timmy. Now I'm going home. If you have any comments or anything to share with us, remember to hit us up on Facebook. Till next time, goodbye.